Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Talk, and today we're talking MLB 22 The Show. So MLB 22 The Show came out on April 5th, 2022, um, and if you got either the deluxe or MVP version, you've been playing this since April 1st, 2022. So MLB 22 The Show was released on both Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and 5, and the Nintendo Switch. And for the second year in a row, this is available on Xbox Game Pass, and that's exactly how I've been playing it. Um, this is mostly, if everyone can remember, before last year, this was an exclusive Sony console game. Um, it's actually developed by Sony through their San Diego studios, and last year, for the first time, it was available on Xbox consoles, and it was available through Game Pass, which is just a complete steal, because everybody knows that the MLB The Show franchise is one of the most consistent in the year-to-year -year sports franchises. You know, this is what, as a Madden fan like me, who buys it every year, no matter what, would love for our franchise to be. And it's really cool now that it's on Game Pass and on available on Xbox consoles that somebody like me and everyone else who plays Xbox mostly exclusively gets to enjoy MLB. And I can honestly say for the second year in a row, I am enjoying MLB 22 the show. I really do think that this game is just a half step up from last year's game. I feel like because last year was the first time they made the jump to the Series X and PlayStation 5 consoles. The games themselves weren't really developed for them. They were mostly developed for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles. So this year feels more like they really were designing the game with next gen in mind. And it does have that feel in many different aspects. Um, I do think now with, you know, with the graphical jump, um, it's not as noticeable from last year to this year, in my eyes at least. Um, it's just really more of a little attention to details, which when you already have a perfect engine like this game has, what are you gonna fix when you're fixing perfection? So you're just fixing little things. And that's really what they did. You know, you go into the replays and you can really just see the little stitchings or the dirt kicking up or just, you know, little inconsistencies in the world that a game like this and its engine can really take advantage of. Now, as far as the graphics go, um, one thing that has always bothered me with the graphics, um, and I don't know why, it's not just in this franchise, but when you're playing, just playing the game, the grass always kind of looks like flat to me. It actually, it, it just really isn't that appealing. I, I don't know if anyone else sees that or if it's just my eyes, but the grass itself, I really, I, I don't understand why the coloring choices, it just really looks like a step down from everything else in the game, which is just a crazy attention to detail. But, you know, as far as everything else, it does look great. Uniforms look great. Um, the uh, lightings and the stadiums look perfect. It really feels like you're playing an MLB game. And that's exactly what this game should be. And it nails it 100%. So just other than that minor thing that might just be a personal thing, I think the graphics are a slight step up from last year. But like I said, when you're building on top of a great graphical engine like this, you know, you're not gonna expect a big jump. And then as far as gameplay goes, so gameplay is where obviously MLB The Show has nailed it year to year. And this year is no different. You get plenty of choices as far as the player that you are. If you want to play casual, simulation, or competitive, it's available, available to you. If you're somebody like me who wants to just always go back to the classic controls from a neighbor or a kid, you can do that. Or if you want to play around with the, or their own settings that they have designed for this game. Or like uh, for pitching, you can do pulse setting if that is better for you. It's always It's really coordinated to the player that you are. You're not locked in to play it any other way this game gives you plenty of different tools and you know as a fan of sports games that's what you want you want you don't want to have to feel like you're being left out if you're not good at the simulation aspect it's very pick up and play it's very easy to teach somebody who's never played an mlb game before because they can just play it at their own pace and what is working for them it's easy for old players to come back in who have never even played an mlb show the game and i really think that is what San Diego Studios has nailed with this game, is that it is just completely fun from a gameplay perspective. It doesn't matter what the modes are if the gameplay isn't fun. And you know what? The gameplay is perfect. You get a lot of feedback, I feel like, through the rumble effects. I played it on an Xbox Series X, so I don't know how the PlayStation is with its DualSense. I can't speak on it, but I imagine, be it given that this is a PlayStation game, it is probably really good. And as far as this Nintendo Switch, I also don't know. I'm sure that it's most likely a step down from these two games. And also, when you're playing these games, the presentation really is important. 
because you want to play a game if you're an MLB fan that feels like you're playing in a Major League Baseball game and for the second year in a row for me completely nailed that I felt like I'm playing on Fox Sports or ESPN it really works in this game too and from what I understand because I haven't been playing this year to year that they really updated the commentary system and you know it felt good it definitely sounded good to me and I, I didn't notice a huge upgrade but I have only been playing you know for a certain amount of time so I don't I haven't heard every line of dialogue that's been recorded but maybe for the year-to-year -year players you can tell me if it really is an upgrade and then that brings me to what my biggest thing a huge upgrade from last year even if it's just minor is the stadium creator I've told you guys before in my WWE 2k22 review that I'm a big fan of creations and being able to create things is my big go-to thing the first time we actually saw something like this was in the NCAA baseball games and then we finally got a stadium creator in last year's game but it was missing one big feature and that was that you couldn't play these stadiums at night and if anyone knows baseball all during the week those games are starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and that's at night so for the fact that we couldn't play our custom stadiums at night really was unfortunate this year they fixed that there is still missing where you can actually create a full like dome like as if it was Tropicana field or the sky dome you still can't create that but you pretty much can do everything in this creation suite that you would be a fan of as far as if you're a creator if you want to create the field of dreams field you can do that you can create uh if you want to get that 1940s you know baseball field like a league of their own you can do that you can create the ultimate outdoor stadium with all modern technology, with all the biggest big boards you can imagine. You can do that. It's all here for you if you're a fan of creating. And I, that, for me, that's a huge step up. But there's also many other game modes in here also if you're a fan of like the card collecting system that we've seen it in Madden and NBA 2K. You got Diamond Dynasty. That's in there. Let's have some microtransactions, but not anything that you haven't seen before in any other sports game. And in my little bit of time with it, it didn't feel like it was pushing you towards that, if that makes any sense. So as far as franchise goes, as far as upgrades, I didn't see much. Just some, you know, minor upgrades to make your playing a little bit easier and more of like, you know, just minor life upgrades in here. Nothing crazy, nothing that's going to like change how you were playing it from last year. Because I know a lot of people who play franchise want to play this and do take a franchise through 50 years. And you can do that. And it's just crazy that that's even available in a game like this so if, you know these are the kind of games that people play for an entire year until the next one comes out so you definitely have that with franchise you could just play all you want you could also just play the postseason if you want that's all you can do just one team through the year you can do that and then there's also the big highlighted one road to the show that's basically like the NBA 2K's career mode or, or Madden's old superstar mode that's that's what this is and you know what I think it's pretty good um, you could be a, a, a switch player this year again for the second year in a row so that's a pitcher and a hitter you could also just be a pitcher you could also just be a hitter um, it's a grind mode it's gonna definitely take a lot of your time but it's a lot of fun this is the kind of mode that I play for the year I'm a big fan of it I love that I get to just take my guy from the minors all the way to the majors and it's definitely a grind and but that's kind of the point I mean if you're a fan of baseball it's 162 games a year then the postseason you know that's just what it's gonna be but you know it always bothered me on the older consoles I did play MLB the show like on a PS4 like many years ago but the fact that you would only go up to bat like two or three times and then the load times would be crazy long well thanks to next gen consoles load times are basically gone so i definitely think getting through this mode now is a lot more fun and the story itself it's not like over the top and that is actually a good thing because we've seen some 2k games take their career modes to some crazy stories where it would take you out of it because the whole point of the career mode is to make it feel like yourself and i don't think you need to try and make a feature film out of it i think it should just be more of a you know try and put yourself projected into the game and that's always what i go for you know just like more of like a turned up version like in this game i have a a mullet and a long beard but in real life i'm i'm short balding a little bit chubby with a pretty awesome beard but not like what this guy looks like and it that's what 
it should be and i really think again not a huge upgrade from last year um the menu system is still a little off i don't really like it i feel like it's too all over the place i would like actually a little bit better menu system overall in the entire game but that's a minor gripe i will definitely not knock the game for that and then guys in closing there i haven't played online but if you are a fan of online there is some uh you could do custom leagues and co-op play so i know a lot of people that's what they like to do it's there but in my experience with the game overall i would say like it feels very similar to last year i would say that th this is a half measure or a minor step up from last year but like we like i said before uh mlb the show is the most consistent franchise in all the year-to-year -year sports games and that's over 2k and madden and, and i stand by that and i stand by that again today if you're a fan of these games and you have an xbox definitely can recommend 100 percent that is on game pass it doesn't cost you a thing for the standard edition if you're a playstation user um i would wait for a sale that's just my thing if you have last year's version because it's not a full game upgrade i would say definitely wait for a sale this game at 40 dollars is perfectly priced and i don't have anything on the nintendo switch version so i can't recommend or not recommend but guys, as always, thank you for supporting the channel. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and tell your friends.